Good evening. The RIT men's hockey team saw its 11-game winning streak snap last weekend, but the focus is dialed right back in again. This team continues to grow, and a trip to the NCAAs is definitely within reach this spring. Senior forward Brennan Sarazen juggles hockey pucks before he plays each game, a hockey superstition probably. But despite stumbling last weekend against Sacred Heart, this RIT Tiger says winning habits are hard to break. When we first started, I mean, teams didn't give us a lot of respect, and uh, I mean, we had to battle, battle real hard to get even, even wins in the W column. And now, I mean, now that the program's developed a little bit more, where we're winning a lot, a lot more, teams have more, a lot more respect for us. Brennan has been with the Tigers since making the huge jump to D1 his freshman year. The hard work and overall team effort has paid off. This is a well-disciplined, aggressive team without any superstars. It makes for a better team because you can put anyone out at that, in that situation and you know you can expect key goals from and key contributions from everyone on the team. Six players have scored at least 22 points. Twelve have at least 10. Everyone has a role and, and everyone's helping out and uh, it's been a, a fun team to be around. It's a fun locker room and uh, it's better than just one or two people producing and you're winning games. Uh, it's, it's nice when everyone's contributing. Junior Dan Ringwald likes the pressure of being on top. He says it's a nice place to be when you're such a young team. It comes with a little bit of extra pressure. We know that everyone in the league is gunning for us, so we got to make sure we stay composed and just stick to our game plan. RIT is on the road this weekend against Holy Cross, a key conference matchup. The Tigers intend to stay on top. And we're going to have some hiccups along the way. We know that, but uh, we've got to take those in stride and, and get over those speed bumps as quick as possible and move forward. RIT needs just more wind to clinch home ice for the first round of the conference playoffs.